Imagine if your arm were trapped inside a rotating wind turbine. This is what exactly happened to a wind turbine engineer during a routine inspection, which turned catastrophic. As his arm was stuck inside an operating wind turbine, he was entrusted to maintain. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Strap in, because this is the untold tale story about the North Sea Rental Offshore Wind Farm disaster. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. Wind farms are becoming increasingly significant in the global energy market, but maintaining them adequately maintained and operational is a demanding task for maintenance teams. Wind farms have risen in size since the early 2000s, both in blade length and height, which has helped the operator by providing more electricity, but it has also added problems for the maintenance engineers who service these assets. This is especially difficult for offshore farm operators, who are always under pressure to improve asset performance and lower operating costs. This demand is rising as the first erected wind farms approach the end of their useful life and need to take advantage of the option for life extension. Our story begins with a wind turbine engineer, famously called Mr. Safety, took legal action seeking compensation exceeding PS1 million following the loss of his arm while working on a North Sea wind farm. He emerged victorious in his legal battle at the High Court. Darren Hoadley, aged 42, a specialist in wind turbine installation. He suffered the traumatic loss of his left arm in June 2018 while inspecting the bearings within the blade spinning mechanism at the Rentel offshore wind farm in the North Sea. Under Belgian jurisdiction, Mr. Hoadley, esteemed for his conscientious and meticulous work ethic, initiated legal proceedings against his employer, Siemens Gamesa Renewable Energy Lauderd. He contended that the catastrophic incident could have been prevented had he been aware that the power source was still active during his inspection. Following a ruling by Judge Richard Davison at the High Court, attributing a major portion of blame to the company, Mr. Hoadley, hailing from Norfolk, secured a substantial compensation package, likely surpassing PS 1 million. However, the exact amount is pending determination and will be subject to a one-third reduction due to the judge's findings that Mr. Hoadley bore partial responsibility. The court heard how the life-altering accident occurred while Mr. Hoadley was conducting checks within a confined nacelle pod atop the turbine structure, situated near the hub where the blades rotated. In an attempt to examine a series of safety pins, Mr. Hoadley inserted his arm through an aperture in the turbine brake disc, only to realize with horror that the turbine was still in motion and his arm had become ensnared. Judge Davison recounted the harrowing sequence of events, highlighting Mr. Hoadley's quick thinking and bravery in extricating himself from the pod following the injury. Fault was attributed to Siemens Gamsa due to previous instances where technicians had activated the power without adequately informing their colleagues. The judge noted lapses such as failure to reinstall warning signs and chains, leaving the pod door ajar, and the deceptive tranquility of the pod's mechanisms, which contributed to Mr. Hoadley's false sense of security. Furthermore, the judge critiqued Mr. Hoadley for his lapse in judgment, citing failure to involve his installation lead, lack of planning, and unwarranted assumptions. Despite being deemed partially responsible, Mr. Hoadley's resilience and determination were praised, particularly his swift return to work following intensive rehabilitation and adaptation to a prosthetic arm. His remarkable recovery included participation in physical challenges like the Run Norwich race, demonstrating his unwavering spirit and serving as an inspiration to others. The judge also commended Siemens Gamisa for their post-accident response and implementation of comprehensive reforms to enhance safety protocols. At the end, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice day.